JJ Watt. Is it oh, time? Yeah. Is Uh-oh. it time, dude? Is are things it, actually it, are playing we out? A Watt, a Watt reunion, wattage, a, a three piece of Watt. Is we, that what we're doing? We joked about it a little bit last year. We whenever did. they brought in we Derek did. Watt, <laughs> JJ Watt's contract was really shitty. Yeah, you didn't really think the Texans were actually gonna trade him or you know release right. him anything like that. But I don't know. It's looking like it. There's a lot so of dysfunction with the Texans. The yeah. <laughs> And there's reports saying that J.J. Watts played his last snap with the Texans. And he was the guy when uh, their season ended. He went up to Deshaun Watson and said, I'm sorry for wasting another year of your career here. He did say that. <laughs> so he was the first one to, to start up the Deshaun Watson leaving Texans train. And obviously he's driving it. So, yeah. So maybe he was talking to be on that. Tra- it, yeah, he was talking yeah. about himself, too. It's like both of us. Yeah. Let's get out of here. It, it, you know, it, it, it wakes the both right towns. It's both kind of Pittsburgh, bro. It, it's all it's all up. You know, whoa, man, that, whoa, that, whoa. You just had to toss that in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but either way, either way. Uh Put it like this. I don't think that, you know, it's zero chance. I do think that it could happen, but it still falls back to the guy that we talked about at the beginning of this thing. Seven. What number is he willing to play for? The lower that number is, the more fun we can have in terms of free agency pieces, in terms of trades and acquiring, you know, higher end talent. So that's the thing. I mean, if, if, if you could talk to your guy, you know, get him to come <laughs> back for that super low number, I could make some phone calls to get to, to JJ. We, we know that. That's, that's what I'm saying. You Dude, know, you heard that, the, that connection's there. You heard the quote. I don't have to say anything. It was with an exclamation mark, man. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. So if, 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 if your boy gets his number low, I could call my boy and then we get that situation taken care of. All right? Do you know how it could work on JJ's end? Because... His well, contract's bad right now, but like, how could he restructure that in some but, way? No, no, no. And I want to say that this year, because what if he wanted to play for the, a minimum no, just no. to play with his brother? No, no. What, what I was going to say, the Texans, I would have to look at it again, but it was either I want to say it was this year because we looked at it last year. I want to say it was this year that they can cut him, and that dead money shouldn't be as bad. It was either. Let me. I'm gonna pull it up. That'll be quick. dead money for them, though, right? Right, right, yeah, for them, yes, yes. But that so would they, they, that would make it that would make it so releasing him makes sense for them at least, right? Because right. you don't so want to cut him, I mean. and it's like twenty million mm-hmm. in dead money. You're not even getting exactly. any draft picks back from a team. Okay, exactly. So let me check real quick, see what his uh, cap hit is in twenty twenty one. Because a trade would be definitely tougher then. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I feel like he's definitely got a market though, still, right? Or do you think it depends on the contract? <laughs> I think the contract plays a huge portion of it because obviously it's a conversation like Ben. Is his productivity worth the number? But because he'd probably be like a 60% snap guy. Well, in, so, I guess it would yeah, even so depend on if we brought Dupree back. So here we go. So in 2021, he has a base salary of 17.5, but no prorated bonus. Cap hit is seventeen five. Yeah, so if they cut him, it has zero dead money. No way. So they, yeah, so they could cut him and walk away. Yeah, because literally the way it looks, I'm trying to see when he redid this deal. But nineteen was the last year of the prorated bonus. Twenty, it didn't have anything, and then twenty one does it uh, has zero for uh, the prorated bonus, and then his dead money is zero. Cap savings would be seventeen point five million if they were to do such a thing. And that's basically no way. So I mean, like I that, said, it could. that could kind of make yeah. sense then, right? Right, well, that, and that was the thing. Yeah. So even on Spot Rack, it's the same thing. So they have it as fifteen point. Yeah, no, no, no. Excuse me. Yeah, yep, seventeen point five because he made the fifteen point five last year. So yeah, they could make a move on him. Yeah, I don't see anything up here. Yeah, because all his signing bonus money has been paid. He had the thirty mil fully guaranteed. They basically do it the in. opposite of us. Yeah, they, they front loaded his, whereas we kick the can and, and hit you on the back end. Okay, but uh, because some team might not want to trade and take on that contract. Yeah, seriously, man. So, dude, it yeah, might be looking, in play. Because it's yeah, all of his bonuses hit in sixteen and seventeen, and now from there, he just has a, a workout bonus for half a million dollars. That's it, dude. Yeah. All his other stuff is gone. Yep, 2015, they restructured him, converted a $10 million roster bonus into a $5 million signing bonus. Yeah, 
Yep, they definitely could, man. This and if they happen. did that now, now well, so if they did that now, it's a different conversation. If they release him now, it's just open season, free negotiation. If JJ JJ can have an offer to, for twenty million, but can say, "Hey, I want to play for my, I want to play with my brother for a two million, and he could do that in theory without a doubt. So yeah, I mean, now it's just more so what the Texans are going to do. Do they want to do the full rebuild of cutting him? Obviously, you'll have a lot more cap space to operate and do your rebuild. But if you're going to do that, you might as well get rid of Watson. But the flip side, they keep saying that they don't want to trade Watson. Have you seen those reports? I, I did see that. I, I've been seeing those. So to me, and obviously Watson officially had uh, officially requested a trade. So seeing that as well, to me, I'm just like, man, go ahead and, and blow the whole thing. It up, seems man. like Watt, Watt wants out though. There's all those reports yeah. that saying he played his last snap. He requested. Absolutely, I don't know if he man. said they said he requested a trade, but all the signs are pointing that way as well. Absolutely. So, like, so, even if they even if they somehow keep Watson, I don't think it's mm-hmm. out of bounds for them to maybe even just cut Watt though. At the same time, maybe they rebuild with Watson in a way. I don't know how much Watson yeah. wants to be doing that though. Right, and that's the thing. I mean, if you're Deshaun, do you really want to be a part of no. that rebuild, new coach after the situation you just had to endure these first couple of years of your career? I personally wouldn't, especially knowing how quarterbacks are criticized, anyways. I don't personally want to deal with that thing. And obviously, JJ, you could hear his frustration and. The reports, I mean, that came out between him and his dysfunction with Bill O'Brien and obviously that linking a little bit to O'Brien's departure as well. If you're JJ, I'm just like, man, I can see the scenario where you want to get out of there as well, man. And what better place to relocate than come on down to Pittsburgh, play with your brothers, man. It's, it's a dope feeling. You know, we got we, we already got the Edmonds brothers here. We do that. <laughs> c- come on. Come, come on, come on. It's a family affair around here, baby. It's like sliding them, you know, sliding the game. It's a family affair. (laughs) It would be epic, dude. It it might be a play. Yes, indeed, man. Another episode brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbooking app. Not only is it safe, but it is secure and reliable. And Deke, Deke, there is a promo code. Could you tell them what the promo code is, please? You sure you want me to? I mean, because they hear from me all the time. I just feel like it's better when it comes from you. Okay, okay. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's easy to remember. It's Moats. M-O-A-T-S. Ah, boom. Can't go wrong with that. So for all the first time users out there, if you use the promo code Moats, you'll receive up to $1,000 in deposit bonus money. So stop wasting time. Download the app. Use the promo code and get an opportunity to make a little money.